Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the second grade concept of personal financial literacy, specifically different situations for borrowing and lending money that are responsible and irresponsible, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So let's make sure we understand what these two words mean. So when you borrow money, uh, that means you are receiving it. You are asking somebody else for money, and you are getting it from them, and you are going to pay them back later. So when you're lending money, that means you're the person giving money. You're letting somebody else have the money. Letting somebody have the money, and obviously you're hoping that they will pay you back. And so sometimes this is normal, sometimes this makes sense, but there are some times when it might not be a good idea to borrow or to lend money to somebody else. So let's talk about a few situations. So let's say you're at school and you've got some lunch money and your friend asks you for 50 cents. So here's your friend. He wants 50 cents because he wants to get some Takis from the lunch line. And here's the problem with this situation. This friend has asked other friends for 50 cents for Takis. And you've seen other people give this friend 50 cents, and he has never paid them back. So this friend is what we call an unreliable borrower. When you're unreliable, that means you don't pay back the money. They'll say they'll pay back the money. They'll promise they'll give you the money tomorrow. But they have a history of not paying the money back. So this would be a friend. If he asks you for 50 cents to buy some talkies, to do something else in, in the lunch line, he is an unreliable borrower. So it would not be a good idea to let him borrow 50 cents or to lend him 50 cents. Now, if you want to give him the money, you can always give him the money. Just don't expect to receive the money back. Now, let's say you've got... Uh, another friend and you happen to go to a birthday party and you see that someone is opening up their birthday cards and this friend opens up a birthday card and they get money from their grandma and they get $20 and everyone's so excited they see a nice clean crisp $20 bill and this girl gets $20 from grandma she's so excited and one of the kids from the party says oh let me borrow that $20. All I need is $20 to get this new video game I've been borrowing. If you let me uh, borrow the $20, I'll give it back to you next week. So this girl has to make a decision. Does she want to lend this $20 uh, to this friend that says he'll give the money back to her next week? And if she knows that this friend won't be able to give her back the $20. So sometimes they're not just unreliable. Sometimes they're unable to repay. Unless this friend has got a birthday coming up or it's a week before Christmas, she knows that this friend does not have a job. This friend does not do mow lawns or babysit for extra money, and he doesn't have an allowance nearly high enough to give him $20. There's no way that he's going to give her back $20 next week. So he might not necessarily be unreliable, but he might be unable to repay. There's just no way he's going to come up with $20. So let's say you're at the store with your mom. You're at Walmart. You're checking out, and you want to buy a large candy bar that you see there. And the large candy bar costs $1. Now, you don't necessarily have the money with you, and your mom doesn't want to pay for it. But... This would be a situation where you can have some responsible borrowing and lending. If you ask your mom if you can pay for it out of your allowance that you will receive tomorrow, maybe that's something that she would let you borrow. This would be an example of responsible borrowing. That means that it is a good idea to borrow this money and it would be a good idea for your mom to lend it to you because you have the ability to repay because you're beginning your allowance tomorrow. And hopefully you have shown to your mother that you will pay back the money if you borrow it from her. 